Welcome to Joyriders Keyworker Commuter Route. 14.4 kilometres going the quiet way from Walthamstow Central to University College Hospital in Euston Road, and 12.7 kilometres coming back the busy way. Once you're familiar with the route, there are plenty of variations to try. The round trip took me about an hour, including stops at lights. Here is an overview of the route using Relive. I started out heading down Selborne Road from Walthamstow Central. I use the road rather than the cycle track. Note my positioning in the centre of the lane, the primary position. Filtering to the front at the lights, I hold the primary position all the way along South Grove and left into Markhouse Road at the roundabout. Primary position means being part of the traffic. You are riding where drivers are looking. Right turn into Markhouse Avenue a residential street where positioning is just as important. On a narrow road like this, there is always a car door and a little bit more away from the parked cars. You never know when a door is going to open in front of you. Straight onto South Access Road. Take the cycle track cut through and turn onto the black path. Take care going around the blind corner. Then, at the end, turn right onto the road and first exit at the roundabout. At the pedestrian lights, move onto the cycle track running along the right hand side of the road. Just after you pass Leverage Road Station, the track forks. Take the left fork through the underpass and circle around onto the Leverage Road cycle track. On all cycle paths, be very aware of crossing side roads for any vehicles turning into or out of them. They are looking at the road, not the cycle path, so may not see you. Be sure you make eye contact. Immediately after crossing the Lee River, there is a sharp left turn onto the service road, just before the pedestrian lights. Don't miss it. A brief interlude through Millfield Park. Look out for dogs off their leash. Then a brief respite at the lights before heading up the Powerscroft Road Hill. This is a wider residential road, so you don't need to be in the centre, but you can clearly see that other riders are in danger, should a car door open in front of them. Right turn at the top to a contraflow section. Don't let oncoming traffic push you off your line. At the end, take care crossing the road and use the bike crossing before riding down the shared pathway to Clapton Square. Left turn there and across at the bike crossing onto the shared pathway to the left of St John's Church. Follow this all the way, under the railway bridge and across yet another bike crossing into another contraflow residential street. This is a narrow one, so make sure you take the primary position, negotiating any small movement with oncoming vehicles. A few more cut-throughs will bring you to the divided left-right crossing over Mare Street, and then on toward London Fields. Do make sure you look all around you when at a give way sign. Some of the traffic around here comes upon you quite suddenly. At London Field you're not going down the main cycle path, but along the path almost in front of you as you pass through the gate. Follow the multi-cross path and turn right, passing out of the park and crossing almost directly into Middleton Road. This is another wide one. So a car door and a little bit more away from the parked cars you'll find all the way along. Crossing Kingsland Road at the lights and through onto de Beauvoir Square. Around by the church, just follow the quiet way signs. Take care at the roundabout on Southgate Road, where you are going straight ahead, then left, then right, still following the quiet way signage on the road. Lovely wide roads here, Easy to stay away from the parked cars and for any traffic you may encounter. Left to Decklesbourne Road and along to the lights. Several cut-throughs and on to Preben Street. You'll see I've chosen to take the primary position through this section and to filter to the front of some stop traffic before turning right up the hill on Gerrard Road, then left at the top onto Colbrook Road. This takes me to the lights where I first cross City Road, then Goswell Road.
Straight ahead, through the cycle gate, and left onto the wonderfully wide Moldington Square. Then give way at Amwell Street, crossing onto Lloyd Baker Street. First drive. Right and first left. And down the very steep hill to turn right at Kings Cross Road. Keep control of your speed down here. It's a very busy road at the bottom. Now right, left, left to end up on Cubitt Street. And don't miss the cycleway cut through to Ampton Street. Cross Grays Inn Road at the lights and then you're going to follow the cycle paths along Sidmouth, Tavistock, Gordon and Torrington all the way to Tottenham Court Road where you turn right. There is a segregated cycle path, but it's probably easier to take the lane and be part of the traffic, as you'll be turning right in a few blocks. Almost there. Depending on where you are parking your bike, you will turn right probably just before Euston Road, and you're there. The journey home I've chosen takes the most direct on-road route. Exiting from the hospital onto Tottenham Court Road, filter to the front of the lights and turn right onto Euston Road. Continue all the way along Euston Road, taking primary position on the inside lane at all times. Give yourself space. Be careful not to get caught in a left turn lane too, one of the most dangerous places a cyclist can find themselves if they're not intending to turn left. past St Pancras and King's Cross and straight ahead up Pentonville Road. Follow the signs to cut around to the Angel. Left turn there and stay in primary position all the way until you turn right at Exeter Road. Keep the primary position all the way along Exeter Road. Plenty of traffic here and a relatively narrow road with plenty of parked cars too, so staying where everyone can see you is imperative. Remember when you're passing a bus, make sure that you can see their mirror so they can see you. At Balls Pond Road, you'll make a right turn, then again taking the primary position all the way through to Dalston Road. Filter to the front when there is a queue of traffic stopped at lights and you feel there is time. Always easy to merge back into traffic. Just ask the driver of the vehicle you're next to at the time the lights change, then slot in front of them. All the roads through this section are busy but narrow, and nothing really changes in terms of your positioning. Along Dalston Lane, pass by Hackney Down Station, through the five-way and up the Pembury Road Hill, will bring you out near the big roundabout at the top of Lee Bridge Road. You can cross onto the cycle path which will take you through to repeating your return down Argyll Way or, alternately, to Ho Street and back up to Walthamstow Central. I use Commute to plan my routes. 
It provides turn by turn voice instructions, so I don't need to be distracted by looking at the map. See you next time.